Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy with a little bit of a cold today, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I animate and export PNG graphics or any type of graphic with a transparent background in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. If you have been following along my AI build series on my YouTube channel, you'll know the last couple of videos I made some AI sticker packs. These were just PNG graphics that I generated using ChatGPT and I animated and exported them using Adobe After Effects. So first I'll create a sticker. For that, I'm gonna to go to chatgpt.com. I'm gonna open up my custom GPT that I created called Sticker Generator. I'm just gonna enter in a simple text prompt. I want the text to say After Effects. I want the color to be purple and I want the background to be transparent. I'll click the upload button and ChatGPT is gonna generate my sticker. Notice my prompt doesn't say anything about generating a sticker. That's because I used my custom GPT called Sticker Generator which is basically just a personalized or customized ChatGPT where you give it instructions. And the instructions say, anytime I enter in a prompt to automatically generate a sticker. Perfect. I'll hover my cursor over the graphic, click on the download arrow in the top right corner to download the PNG graphic to my computer. I'll open After Effects, create a new composition. Let's call it stickers. I'm gonna do 1080 by 1080. I'm gonna keep it at 12 frames per second. Duration, I'll use five seconds. So for five seconds, just type five, comma. The background color of your composition settings does not matter, so just choose any color that you like visually. It will not get rendered when you export the final video. And if you wanna see the transparency grid instead of the background color, you can just click the little icon below the comp window to toggle on and toggle off the transparency grid. I'm just gonna drag in the sticker that I generated using ChatGPT, and I'll drag it right onto the comp window. I'll hold the shift key to make sure that it snaps right in the center. To animate the stickers, I wanted to use the wiggle expression on the position and the rotation properties, but the problem as you're seeing is when the CTI reaches the end of the timeline, I get that little jump or glitch. So to make it a seamlessly looping wiggle animation, I use one of my favorite expressions by Dan Ebert called the looping wiggle expression. I'm gonna copy the looping wiggle expression, Command C. I'll go back to After Effects. I'm just gonna paste it over the wiggle expression, but I'm gonna remember the 0.3 and five. So I'll paste, I'll make a little room so you can see. I'll change the frequency to the 0.3 that we had. I'll change the amplitude to the five. That's the number that was in the standard wiggle expression. In loop time, this is gonna be whatever the duration of your composition is. So my composition is five seconds. So I'm gonna change the loop time from three seconds to five seconds. That's it. I'll select it, Command A, Command C to copy it. And I'm gonna paste it over the expression for rotation. And these values are 0 0.2 and two for frequency and amplitude. So I'll change the frequency to 0 0.2 amplitude to two in loop time it's already at the five now when i tap the space bar i have the exact same animation only when the cti reaches the end of the timeline i no longer get that little glitch or jump cool and to speed up my workflow so i could quickly apply these looping wiggle expressions with the same values anytime i add a new png sticker i save these as an animation preset to save as an animation preset, I'm gonna select the sticker layer. I'll tap P for the position property, hold the shift key and tap R. These are the two properties where I added the looping wiggle. And if I tap EE, you can see the expression. Select position, hold shift and select rotation. So both properties are selected. Go to the animation menu at the top and choose save animation preset. I save this as sticker wiggle and it's a .ffx. These are in your user presets folder. Just click save to save it as an animation preset. Now, anytime I'm in After Effects, I can drag on any file. I'll just drag on another sticker with the layers selected in the layers panel. I'll go to the animation menu. You can check in the recent animation presets or just choose apply animation presets. That's gonna open up your user presets folder Select the animation preset that you want to use. In my case, sticker wiggle. Click open, tap the space bar, 
and we have ourselves a looping wiggle animation. And if I tap EE, you can see both of those expressions with the exact same values were saved. When you want to export an After Effects composition as an animated GIF, you're going to do so by going to the File menu, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. This opens up the Adobe Media Encoder app, which is a standalone app included in your Creative Cloud bundle. And then you're going to go to the queue where you'll see your composition. Once your composition goes in the queue, you're going to go to the preset browser. And if you don't see the preset browser, go to the window menu and choose preset browser. Do a search for GIF, G-I-F. I'll select the animated GIF with transparency and just drag it right onto your composition entry. Then you're going to go to the output file. This is where you tell Adobe Media Encoder where to export and save your rendered file to. So just click, give it a name, choose where you want to save it, click save. You can also save these as presets to speed up your workflow like we did in After Effects. So I'll select the animated GIF with transparency, right click and choose create encoding preset. You can customize any of the settings that you want for animated GIFs, give it a preset name. So now anytime I export a sticker composition from After Effects to Adobe Media Encoder, all I have to do is go into my user presets area I created a folder called stickers and there I have a sticker GIF. I can just simply drag it on to any entry that I want to export as an animated GIF. In addition to exporting all of the stickers as animated GIFs, I also export them as five second QuickTime videos for any social media channels that don't support animated GIFs. So to create another output, all I have to do is select this animated GIF output and click this icon right here, you see the tooltip says add output. Now I can add as many different versions of this export as I want. I just need one. Now I do have a preset for the sticker loop, but for the QuickTime 5 second loop, I'm going to use Apple ProRes 444. So in the preset browser, I'll type 4444. I'll select this Apple ProRes with alpha. I'm just going to drag it onto that second entry. And if I was doing it the fast way, I would go to my user presets folder, drag sticker loop, and you see the preset changes to my custom preset. And to start the rendering queue, just click on the green play icon in the top right corner, and you'll see a preview. And when they're all done rendering, you'll get those green little check marks. And there on my desktop are the two rendered files. I have the animated GIF and the five second video file, both on transparent background. And that is my start to finish workflow for animating AI stickers using Adobe After Effects and Media Encoder CC 2025. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.